Hey everyone, today we have the PDW stock for the T15, also known as the collapsible carbine stock. I'm going to show you how to install it today, but before we get started, I want to make sure that you have the right tools. So you will need some Teflon tape, some grease or lubricant, and a 332 and 532 Allen wrench. All right, so without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So step number one is you're going to want to remove the sleeve that's around the ASA. In order to do that, you're going to take your 332 Allen wrench and just remove the screw. It's just a set screw. So it should come slide right off. And now we can get started. Step number two is you're gonna take the new gas pipe and you're gonna screw it into the ASA. Just like this. And you wanna make sure that the gas pipe is screwed in all the way so it's sitting flush with the ASA. So step number three, we're gonna take our lubricant and we're gonna apply some to the O-rings that are on the gas pipe. Okay, this is to prevent friction when we're putting the rest of the stock on. So you want to just make sure that there's a little bit of uh, grease around all the O-rings. There's two of them here. Let's rub it around. All right, so now that the gas pipe is lubed up, next step is to take the stock and you want to slide it over and make sure that it's seated flush with the uh, rest of the body, just like that. Then you're going to take the tube and slide it through the stock and over the new gas pipe, okay? Oops. Just like that. As you notice, there are holes along the whole tube. One of them is threaded. So you want to make sure that that hole with the threadings is positioned exactly where you want it before you lock it and tight it into place as that's where the mill fitting will be poking out. So I wanted mine sitting right on the bottom of the gun. So now it's in position. I'm going to apply some pressure so it slides over those o-rings and locks into place. And then we're going to put this screw at the back to make sure that it's secure. All right. Once that's tightened, we're moving on to the last step and that's to install the male fitting for the remote line. Before you actually start threading it on, I want you to take a little bit of Teflon tape, roughly about an inch or two, and wrap it around the threadings. This is gonna help create a better seal once you install it, okay. Now that I have some Teflon tape on there, I can go ahead and start threading it in. Oops. Oh, tiny piece. Uh, the mail fitting that will come with the stock uh, will can be tightened up with a 532 Allen wrench by inserting it directly into the mail fitting. And once it's on there nice and tight, you're good to go. You can air it up, give it a test. Well, that's a wrap on uh, installing the PDW stock for the T15. If, I hope you guys found that video informative. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the section below. And as always, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.